Hello everyone, it's time for the charging test. I drove the car down to 2%, three kilometers of range. I drove fast and I was like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> and I did it a few times already. It's the third time that I drove it down to under 5%. And I'm filming the charging screen. Like I said, starting at 2%. We are at 100 kilowatt. The lowest voltage I have seen, 397. That's cool. So I'm charging it to 100%, filming it with this action cam. And now I give back to me at home and we talk to about the charging test in detail. So here you can see the Ionity screen. I filmed the whole thing. It starts with 387 volts and it starts with 100 kilowatt already and 250 amps. So there's a lot of power going in and very soon at 5% we have 102 kilowatt and it goes up a tiny bit more to 103 and that's it. And we are at 10% of the four minutes and in, so almost six kilowatt hours charged in four minutes. It's really good and I charged Ionity a few times, I think eight times, and under 33% you always get the 100 kilowatt. So the cooling and heating of the battery really works. Um, uh, we're almost at 20%. From 10 to 20% takes three minutes because we had the 103 kilowatt now that you can see. Amps uh, stays around the 250 mark, voltage goes up. Um, uh, we had 15 kilowatt hours charged in nine minutes, we're 27%. That's just really, really good. I'm very impressed. 30% in 11 minutes, still 102 kilowatt, and at 33%, it will go under the 100 kilowatt. I think that's still okay. Uh, 20 kilowatt hours charged in 13 minutes. It's just way better than the other cars that I had so far where I did a charging test. Uh, from 20 to 30 percent took three minutes, from 10 to 20 also three minutes. Now we are at 40. That took f four minutes from 30 to 40 percent. So in 15 minutes we have 24 kilowatt hours charged. We had 42 percent. Still 73 kilowatts of power. It goes sl uh, slowly down but down down voltage goes up amperage goes down we're almost at 50 percent after let's wait after 19 minutes and almost 30 kilowatt hours charged from 2 to 50 percent in 19 minutes and you can see the power uh, of charging went up a tiny bit there but then it, it goes down again we had almost 430 volt but the amp is already at 165 where the being beginning it was 250 um, almost at 60 percent 40 to 50 percent took five minutes 50 to 60 also five minutes after uh, after 60 uh, everything slows down a bit so around between 60 and 70 percent would be the time you stop charging and go on on a long distance trip as you can see almost 30 minutes charged this would be interesting how much kilowatt hours we have charged because that's just awesome 28 minutes 56 kilowatts still voltage 434 volt where are we with 30 minutes there we are, we almost 41 kilowatt hours charged. It means an average speed of 82 kilowatt. Really nice. We had 70% from 60 to 70% takes seven minutes now. So uh, charging slowed down. Still, look at that 50 kilowatt at 72%. I mean, Renault Zoe, Hyundai Ionic, and, and Kona and whatever at 73%, still 50 kilowatt. That, I like that. 45 kilowatt hours charged after 35 minutes. Our voltage goes up and up, amp goes down. Now we are on under 50 kilowatt. Well, almost <laughs> it went up again. Ooh, from 70 to 80 percent takes eight minutes. And where are we? Come on, 80% always takes a bit now. It's getting slower and slower. There we are, 80% after 39 minutes, 48 kilowatt hours charged. Ooh. And now it just slows down. It's still 50 kilowatt, very impressive, and it stays there. How long does it stay there? I have to see. Well, now it goes down a bit. 45. At 85%, we are at. 
42 of the 43 minutes what 85 percent 80 to 90 percent takes now nine minutes at some time we had 451 volt it's good good uh, voltage on on the battery pack 53 kilowatt hours charge after 45 minutes just great almost 90 percent a charge 200 percent so we see everything it goes down to to almost 30 kilowatt now I mean, are we at 90 percent 90 percent reached at 48 49 minutes 55 kilowatt hours charged almost a 30 kilowatt of charging and now it takes 15 minutes from 90 to 100 percent like i said the best time to stop charging around 60 to 70 percent and then you have to see um, uh, where's the next charger you want to arrive with uh, under uh, under 10 percent or maybe 10 percent and then from 10 to 30 percent you get the 100 kilowatt you get the energy in there really fast so you can spend 50 to 60 percent and then you can calculate what your speed could be so this would be your best traveling speed 95 percent after 56 minutes 59 kilowatt hours charged we are 24 kilowatt it's still good for 95 percent uh, 26 even still have 24 kilowatt of charging almost at 60 minutes and 60 kilowatt hours so it means average speed it's uh, for charging now is 60 kilowatt average to 97 percent really really good 98 percent the voltage 459 will it go up i can't remember Ooh. <laughs> How can this be exciting? <laughs> but it is. It was exciting to see. 19 kilowatt at 99%, still 459 volt. I don't think it will go up. Almost full. 64 minutes. 65 minutes. Ooh. There we are. 65 minutes. But now let's look at the charging curve. First, we have the normal charging curves where you have the state of charge in minutes. And as you can see, it goes up pretty fast. This is the, the 100, and, uh, 100 kilowatt phase. And then it just gradually goes down as any other charging curve. That's just how it is. That's how batteries are and how you can charge them. Next curve is our... Uh, power of charging in kilowatt in state of uh, charge in percent so you can see at the beginning goes up to the 102 103 and then it goes uh, goes down to those 72 goes a bit up to 74 again and then gradually goes down and then from 70 to 80 again you have to have 50 kilowatt for a while and then it just goes down to the 19 at 99 kilowatt which is just awesome and let's look at the comparison to other cars uh, first is the normal the normal kilowatt hours charged in in time in minutes and as you can see down there we have ea bionic zoe and e-golf uh, zoe was was always very good to get because it's uh, it the charging just stays there so kilowatt hours charged to zoe is really good but look at the id3 it's just way above all of those when you want to see charging power two percent in this graph can also see that the id3 is always above those other cars in i mean all of those are under 50 kilowatt and even then when when the id3 is having the 50 kilowatt the other ones already are, are slowing down and then the last one is range edit and this is this is still, I used the, the ID3 consumption of my uh, full range test, the 129 watt hours per kilometer. But in the other examples, I used my Rakobi test. So I will update this screen. Of course, you can always see those uh, curves, the spreadsheets. It's always down in the, in the description below. It is Google tables and like as you can see this is the range added in minutes and it's the id3 just goes up and up way faster and it's done after 60 minutes where others just charge on I me mean, the e up was charging for 90 something minutes it's just that's just a lot of fun to to take something like this on a long trip this is a long distance car but that's it thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye